Hi guys, Tomo from Lorna Duna uh, here. Um, any of you beginners out there want to know how to hook a whole squid uh, on a panel rig, I'm just going to show you now. I'm going to take the bottom hook first. This is the way I do it. I go once all the way through the squid and then I'm going to just pass it through like that. I try to to try and get the, the top of the hook where the eye is, pretty much where I brought it through the squid in the first place. That sits really, really nicely just by itself. You could use this just with a single hook and that would be fine. But as I say, this is a panel rig. I'm going to slide the top hook down. All I'm going to do then is just go once, twice, three times around the line and then pop that in the top of the squid like that. And there we go. Two hooks presented nicely in your bait. Hook points ready to hopefully hook that fish of a lifetime. Uh, you only need three or four wraps around the panel at the top to lock it in place. Uh, this is a typical bait for uh, our winter cod. Um, this also takes rays, eels, uh, bull huss. Uh, there's not much that's going to turn down a whole squid like this. Okay, when you've got your whole packet of squid, you get out of the freezer, it's frozen. Um, drop it in a bucket of water, that's going to defrost it. Uh, then do take it out of the bucket of water, make sure it doesn't get too warm, especially on a sunny day. Drop it back in your cool box and then it's going to stay fresh for the day. Uh, it's very important, especially in the summertime, don't put it into hot water, so don't leave it in the hot water. Um, you're effectively going to start cooking that squid uh, and it's not going to be as fresh as it was. In the summertime as well, why don't you invest in a, just in a little cool bag, a um, little cool box, something like that, um, and then you can keep your bait in tip-top condition for your, for your trip out. If you did want to use a single hook instead of the panel, again, thread the, uh, the, the hook through in exactly the same way as we did to start off with. Um, but then what you need to do is use a little bit of bait elastic um, so we don't have this sort of floppy end at the top which will um, uh, which will end up just getting dragged about in the tide and balling your bait up on a hook. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to flip it around a bit, find your end of a bait elastic. Really windy today. And all I'm going to do, ha ha, easier said than done in the wind. And then all we're going to do is just wrap around the hook a few times and then back up. And this is the important bit when you get to the eye good few wraps around the eye, just up the line a little bit and then just bring it back down a few times again, a bit more around the eye, snap it off and there you go. Thank you.